Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. I know I've been neg neglecting to uh, keep on the liberals here. So, here's an article from some site called Quartz. New research says shows there's a good reason why some people want to cut off their healthy arms and legs. Well, there's a reason, all right. They're sick in the head, but there isn't a good reason. And this has been in the news to some extent. Usually what they'll do, they'll pack their uh, healthy limb in dry ice or something for some period of time and just basically kills it and then they have to have it amputated. They're sick in the head. People, the liberals, of course, are coming up with a bunch of gobbledygook to explain it, rather than coming up with a plan to get the, these people into mental hospitals, because you can forcibly incarcerate them in mental hospitals if they're proven to danger themselves. People have seen them immediately, I usually don't disclose their symptoms, even to their doctors. Now that's a problem that they're not talking about, but as soon as you know, they try to uh, get somebody to take off their healthy limb, they should be locked up. Condition also known as body integrity identity disorder causes an extreme desire to have one of your own perfectly healthy limbs amputated. They're sick. Aware of how unusual that request would seem to a doctor, people f feeling it usually keep it to themselves. In other words, I uh, don't want to be found out. As a result, the medical history of Xenomelia is meager. In a review paywall paper published this month, researchers summarized all the scientific literature they can find out, which turned out to be just 11 papers. A lot of these were single case studies, the largest have 15 subjects. In medical science research, a reliable sample size is usually hundreds of patients. There just aren't that sort of data available for xenomelia. The reason I'm doing this work is not because I think there's going to be an outbreak of people with xenomelia, said MU. That's not going to happen. A psychiatrist in residency at the nonprofit research group, the Everest Foundation of Los Angeles, California, and lead author of the paper. He estimates the prevalence of the disorder is probably less than even one in 100,000 people around the globe. For comparison, you defines the disease as rare when it affects fewer than 5 in 10,000. You himself has encountered two patients with the condition. More, he says, than most healthcare professionals will see in a lifetime. Despite the scant evidence and rareness of the disease, you and his co author, Henry Nasrella, a neuroscientist at the St. Louis School of Medicine in Missouri, argue that understanding. Xenomelia is important for healthcare professionals. It teaches profess physicians that patients who, have, who ask to have healthy limb amputated may have a valid medical reason for the request. No, they don't. They should be locked up and put into a mental hospital. Like I said, you can forcibly do this under the grounds that they are a danger to themselves. Treating patients with true xenomelia means safely amputating the offending limb, giving them a physical disability. No, it doesn't. It means you put them in a nut house. As you and Nasrella write, the word patients most often use to describe how they feel after the removal of an unwanted limb is complete. Unbelievable. Well, there you have it. 
more kookiness from the left. Instead of getting them real mental help in a mental hospital and preventing them from harming themselves, they say chop off the limb and there you got to solve the problem. They're allowing the patient to dictate the treatment. Well, not even treatment, they're just, just going along with the patient. Go ahead and we'll just cut it off for you and that way you'll be okay. And you wonder why some of us don't trust uh, the medical profession anymore. And especially psychiatrists. Like these. As I said, there's a simple solution. You lock them up in the mental hospital. That's what you do. It's about the only thing you can do. And you prevent them from harming themselves. Oh well. I'm artifacts of Mars. It's I've been busy with Mars Station, and that's very time-consuming. I have seen six of the uh, third movie done. Very time-consuming. I'm using a different method than I was at first. Will eliminate most of the garbage on the screen, but it is tedious. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.